Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I wanted to go ahead and give you guys a quick progress update of how the Blade Vortex character is doing. So just to show you guys what we've got, uh, I ended up finding some Assonance Gentle Touch Gloves, which are just pretty good because I don't really have, you know, anything right now necessarily. I've got a String of Servitude, which rolled a skill effect duration. I'm actually going to lower the audio just a little bit here. Um, we did find that, so that's really cool. We actually found two of them, but this is the better one. Ended up getting some 30% movement speed boots from the Temple of uh, Rayquaza. Got a pretty shitty Pupu chest piece. Same thing with this ring and this ring. This has a all res implicit. Um, I ended up finding this shield just recently, which gives us a ton of chaos res, which makes it really safe. Low level to trek the temple. And then we've got some Ascendance Mark Iron Circlet, and I just found this weapon too which gives us 99% spell damage with some added cold dispels, some resistance, and gain 5% of non-chaos damage as extra chaos damage, which is kind of similar to this, but even stronger. So, um, let me just go ahead and let's just travel through and do the Innocence fight. In terms of our links, I'm currently using Blade Vortex, Added Fire, Controlled Destruction, Fist to Lightning. Um, and if you want to see my tree, it should be very similar to what I showed you guys on the other YouTube video. Uh, right now I decided I'm going to go ahead and go towards Purity of Flesh. Uh, Purity of Flesh is on the left side where Templar is. The reason why I decided to go there first is because on our Cruel Lab, we're going to be, um, we're going to be getting our next Ascendancy node, which is the Mastermind of Discord. Mastermind of Discord will allow us, with the reservation on the left-hand side here, uh, we'll be able to run Hatred. Um, and if you look at my mana right now, my mana like doesn't really have much of an issue, so for sure I'm going to try to get Hatred on as soon as possible. I also need to get Shield Charge going, because I do notice I take a bit of damage sometimes, but like for the most part, it doesn't like you don't really take anything leveling. Everything just dies or gets perma-stunned. Yeah, look, I'll show you inside a temple. What's our new temple look like? Splinter Research Lab. Oh, so all I have to do is connect to the Apex, and we're already done. Let's do it. Connect to the Apex, boys. Connect to the Apex. Pug champ. So here's the Beyblade. Let it rip. There's the little mini boss, dude. The Beyblade didn't even go there, but it's okay, because he's still dead. So we're going to clear from the bottom side first inside this temple, so that we don't have to backtrack too much. Oh, actually, we're done anyway, so that's awesome. This one to the apex. Okay. Open open doors and incursion. That was a thing. It's probably the hardest challenge I've ever seen in Path of Exile is to open doors. Yummy. I think we're going backwards. This is a very good clear. Blade Vortex feels absolutely amazing, my friend. I need to pick up those Hall of Life Flasks now to switch over since I'm still using uh, like giant flasks. Yeah, they heal like no, no HP at all. Cool. Another cool thing about this build is uh, since we help Alira, we get 15 all res and then we get another 12 all res from Elementalist. And then since we're going to need dex on our tree, I ended up getting the uh, survival Instincts Jewel, which is more all res, which you can find from Act 2. Act, Act 2. I don't remember what it's called. Act 2. Fell Shrine? That area, past Fell Shrine. That was really difficult for me for some reason. So I'm gonna upgrade. Uh, I'm gonna upgrade this room. 
specifically because even though I really don't like Tempest, the Tempests that you get in here are really strong, like the Radiant Tempest. Stone of Passage. Um, we should probably connect from the right side. Right? Yeah, to the entrance. Where's the entrance? Not here. Maybe I, I could connect to the vault too. That's for another time. I like vaults a lot. What class? This is a elementalist witch. I'll get four more life nodes. No, I do not use elemental overload. We'll be going crit. temple runs that you can do. You can speak to Alva and look at the bottom. After you've ran that set amount of temples, you are then, you go into the temple, and based off of the path that you created, slash or random, slash created, you can go as far as you're able to go. Um, with few exceptions, such as like the demolition place where you can blow up an area, so if you're not connected here, you can blow up one room. If you have a T3 demolition, you can blow up three rooms. And then... After you're done, either when it's like when you kill the boss and leave the area, or you're just done because you're at a dead end, you leave the area and she'll reset the area for you. If I get time and I notice Bless is doing a lot of good changes, then sure. Sanctum of Innocence. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's put this down. I also noticed that siphoning trap works out really well because with siphoning trap and like pretty much nothing specced into mana. Let's see if I can actually land a siphoning trap. There you go. I can just sit here and pretty much spam blade vortex. So it's pretty cool. You don't have to like waste your mana potion. Got your crim sorrows. Very nice. I can't wait to get mine. Although I was thinking of trying something else because I did find gloves with lightning conversion from the from the thing, so um, I don't know. I may I may change it up now. All right, we're gonna blade vortex. Let it rip this guy. Let it rip. Oh man, he um, did not have a good time. Can you spawn mobs faster, please? Mr. Innocent Senpai? Please? This is an SSF character, by the way. I mean, if you don't like my twink gear, I can take off my weapon. going to take the first snow that we said we were going to take for the Freeze Pulsar. So this will go for Mr. Freeze Pulse. Oh yeah, we do have the Princess as well. Is the Princess better than my current weapon? It's not even close. Not even close. Alright guys, that pretty much sums up the uh, short guide. For, well, short whatever you want to call it. <laughs> 
This is actually 25% movement speed boost that I can put life on it. These are really yummy. I'm gonna keep these boots actually and potentially try to craft them. Anyway, hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Remember, if you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Take care, YouTube. Have a wonderful time. And I'll see you boys all tomorrow. Oops, wrong button. Just kidding, lol. I was going to turn on the webcam, and then I forgot that the webcam is like MIA right now. <laughs>